Hello watch lovers, you know what time it is. And here with me today I have Janilda. Hello guys. And Gavin. Spence. What can I say? I've just recovered. <laughs> I feel like I've been on a 72-hour non-stop work. Do you think anybody know what we were up to this weekend, Janilda? I think they've got a clue. I you, think they Spencer, they do. do you think people knew what we were doing well, this weekend? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> there is someone else who was with us the entire weekend. I think we should give him the biggest hello in the world. Absolutely. Come he on, let's welcome him in. Shall, yeah. shall we? Come shall on, we? Paul. Come and join. There Yay. he is. There Hi, he is. Paul. Oh, thank you very much. I thought you'd actually be sick of seeing my face. Uh, we are, but, we, yet, ha- but we have to be polite. I'm going <laughs> to be pleasant. I'm going to be really honest and say I am really preferring today's shirt. Yeah, Paul did have really? some shirts, didn't he, over that weekend? They were some, yeah, ra- I, they were some rascals I, this weekend, Paul. Yeah, I reckon I had a bit of um, a failure this weekend. You know what? <laughs> I packed my bag a bit lively on thursday morning and it's not a good idea to pack your bag the morning before you go away so i'll tell you something though you set a fantastic fashion trend for anybody over 50. <laughs> well that's the idea right? you look very enough. very cool for a 20 year old <laughs> <laughs> i've told you mate i ain't growing old gracefully so I i'm not know. giving that one up paul did you have a very quiet weekend <sighs> do you know something i've got to be honest with you i've been living on adrenaline ever since i come home like my voice had pretty much disappeared by the time I got home and I've lost you. I don't know where you've gone. I don't know if I'm still alive. No, well, yeah, you, you are. James is just fiddling with the camera. You carry on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can carry on. So my voice, it, my voice sort of kind of disappeared on the Sunday evening. Was it Sunday evening? I didn't, don't even know where I am now. And Saturday evening, sorry. Close to the uh, and basically I've just been living on adrenaline. I was so hyped when I got home which led to me making a somewhat cheesy emotional video. Yeah, I'm going to say, Paul, um, I've never cried watching a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Spencer's just having a coughing, coughing fit. Yeah. Uh, I've never cried watching one of your YouTube's video, but I, I, felt, very, I felt very emotional, Paul. Oh, I don't well, know what no, it was. You, honestly. Well, I watched it back the next day, and the comments were fabulous, but I must admit, yeah. I was a little bit embarrassed. But listen, I did mean every word. That's the most important sure. thing, Paul. Um, what do we all actually remember of the weekend? Because <laughs> it was long. It was long and it was a lot of standing and a lot of talking. Yeah, all I remember is taking him out, the three of us going out for a debrief on Thursday night. So we went over to Miller and Carter, had a steak and had a nice chat. Yeah. And the rest was a blur. And here we are Monday night. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like it just went like that. I mean, it was... Yeah. I've got to tell you, Spencer, you, you must have very special powers because you're the only man that's ever had me working for 48 hours virtually non-stop. <laughs> Literally. Uh, all, the Literally. Guys, all the guys are piping in uh, uh, who are watching. Let's just uh, let's just introduce, say hello to everybody. Ian Nicholson, hello, Spencer and Paul. Ian Cooper, hello. good evening all. Trampus 63, what a weekend. Um, Pam Martiana, evening. Ben, evening, guys. Uh, General Wombo, where were you last week, we were thinking? Hello, people, he says. Paul O'Sullivan, great seeing the owner and meeting his dad. Even your dad. Yeah, my dad. Your dad. dad. To work. Yes, yeah. fantastic. And Kevin Hawthorne, who, is... I, who I did see come through on our Instagram Live as well and on YouTube. Uh, evening from Lakeland, Florida. Um, pa- Palm says, nice yellow shirt on Saturday. Paul, that could only have been you. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to show everybody a piece of Saturday in a second. I'm sure James is going to scroll up some of the uh, YouTube comments um, that um, have been popped up on your channel, Paul, and ask because there was lots of lovely comments, wasn't there? Oh, so much so. I mean, you know, look, all I can say is, you know, without repeating myself, reiterating what I've already said, that to me, those working from this side of the screen, you don't always get to appreciate what you're doing. Um, but meeting those people um, over those two days just makes me, gives me inspiration and makes me want to go away. And, you know, all day long, all I've been doing is thinking, what can we do for these people next? What can we do next? And, they were just different class, yes. honestly, different class. Spencer, myself and Janilda, we had a debrief this morning for a quick uh, quick half an hour, which is never long enough because these guys had to repack BQ shop with all that, all the offices, with all that yeah. stock because it was incredible. Um, let's talk about some of the guys we met, Spencer and Paul and Janilda. There is one, this fella is a legend, okay? Paul, you're a legend, but Greggy boy Oh, Greggy is, boy. Boy. Yeah. Greggy boy yeah. is equally a legend. And we had the pleasure of spending literally all day Friday. He was camped out with us. 
Yep. He drunk Spencer out of house and home. <laughs> but the thing is, it's exactly what we said. And Paul, we said this, didn't we? Look, we want to get together, have as many beers, come and meet us. If you buy a watch or see a watch, try something on. And this is what we've spoken about for months. And thankfully, with the help of Rob Graham and BMW, we could do it there. Fantastic venue. Just everything. Everything went well. I mean, you know, there's always a few things you're going to forget about. But in general, it was just unbelievable. And just seeing people. Just it seeing people. It was great to meet our followers, Spencer. Yeah. We yeah. have a few. Yeah. <laughs> now, Greggy Boy didn't just turn up as the living legend himself, who is coming on this show, by the way, to, to co-host with us just after the summer, Paul. But, um, Paul, if you look straight at the screen, he actually gave us some presents. And I know you dashed off, like, on one leg, uh, at the end, because it was a long, long time. But Spencer, there's yours. Janilda, you. I, I gave you yours. I have mine. The other I doors. tried them on, actually. And Greggy, I'm going to open mine up now. But Greggy gave us all a present, Paul. I, I'm going to reveal it to you because yours is here. But Greg right, is in. Okay. Greg is in the aftershave and perfume and that sort of business. And he brought all of us a present. All of us some absolutely gorgeous samples. I've got Creed. So. Let me tell you, Gav, I know a little bit about, about on, perfumes. Sp- I really love them. Spray it all over and yourself, And he Janilda. gave us some proper, like, high-end uh, perfumes. Really high-end stuff. So, Paul, you're not just going to look a million dollars. You're now going to smell a million dollars. Well, Paul, we will send that, we'll send that to you best. tomorrow. You'll get it for Wednesday. We'll send that off yes, to you. mate. And, yeah. Greggy, thanks for that, mate. And don't forget what I said, Greggy, boy. Let's team up. You do all the top aftershaves that I love. Absolutely. Let's, let's make you a part of our trusted circle yeah and uh we'll maybe i'll offer our viewers some kind of deal yeah. or whatever i don't know but we'll we'll bring greggy boy on board as well absolutely but greggy was youtubing way before i'd even heard of youtube so um he's obviously a little bit of a dab hand so i'm looking forward to somebody else flexing their muscles on here but um paul should we have a little mm. should we let everybody and spencer should we let everybody have a, just a t- seen this. well actually none yeah. of us have seen it it's been all hands to the pump to try and get something ready for tonight um but let's take a little look at um, Friday's, just Friday's little VT. So, James, if you want to cue the VT. Hi, everyone. This is Gavin, the show producer of That Watch Guy London. Today, I am at Barron's Boreham Wood, uh, the BMW showroom where BQ Watches are hosting their summer fair. Now, we're expecting around about 600 people over the next two days, and everything is looking fantastic upstairs. There's about four to 500 watches on display. People are starting to arrive in just a couple of minutes. Paul Thorpe's here. And listen, I hope everybody's going to have a fantastic day. So come along. Let's, let's take a look. So it looks like people have started arriving now uh, in their numbers. Uh, People have to allocate time slots throughout the day, so it's going to be very, very busy, very full on. As you can see, people are taking a look at all the watches. There's over 700 on display here today. A little bit later on, I'm going to be catching up with Spencer Dreyer, asking him uh, how his day's going, uh, what he's expecting from uh, speaking to all the people here today. And we're going to be interviewing some of the uh, clients as they come through the door. Now. With me now I have Rob Graham. Rob Graham is the chap who has very kindly given Spencer the facilities for today. What was the motivation for sort of uh, asking an, uh, the, the watch fair to come to Barron's BMW? The motivation really was our keenness to have associations with local businesses uh, and do joint events, sponsored events, etc. We're accommodating an upstairs show, as you're aware, and yeah, I think it's going to be a fabulous couple of days. Is there one watch that you've looked at that you thought, one day, that's the watch I would like? For me, it's always been known as the Bat Girl, I think. I've always called it the Bat Man, because I'm not a watch expert, but it's actually the Bat Girl with the Jubilee price, and I really like that watch. <laughs> All 
Alright everybody, we've got the man himself, Spencer Dryer, that watch guy London. Spencer, the show started, how's it all going upstairs? It's incredible, it's just so lovely Gav, to see people again, the excitement on their face, to see watches. One of the chaps came up to me, uh, sort of said to me, what is spectacular is that he is going to get to try on gold Daytoners, you know, things you cannot see in an AD. And that's the big thrill for everybody here today, isn't it? Absolutely, because they go into these ADs and all that happens is, oh, what's your buying history and you may get something in five years time where here they can touch, feel, look at it, feel the weight, know exactly how the watch is. I know Spencer's having a panic up because everything's going on upstairs and I'm holding him here literally, so I'll do two seconds, but Spencer, we'll catch up with you later. Thank you, Thank you. thanks a lot. There he goes, Spencer Dry. As you can imagine, everybody wants time with Spencer, that watch guy London today. We'll be catching up with him again probably a little bit later. It's always going to be hard pressed to make him stop. Um, he's running around literally trying to keep everybody happy today. Uh, the sun's out, everything's shining. There's hot dogs on the go, there's beers and wine on the go. And um, let's see what else is going on. <laughs> There's a lot of food around here, um, and there's a ton of watches on display, and it's just a good time of year, yeah. So what you've got to do is you've got to play around with it just like half a mil at a time. Just trying to ease that just back into... half a mil at a time until you find... Because it's actually sitting when you're going to, to do that, it's not... <laughs> this on the spot what <laughs> what repairs i want to find a click what brought you down to the big you watches summer watch fair today yeah i've been following the show quite closely big fan of both spencer uh bq watches and the selection's amazing so why not how have you enjoyed your data what's what's you most enjoyed about the summer fair um i love how the staff here have actually you know taken you through talked you through the watches really got to understand what you like and shown you pieces that are personal to you it's been great. And if you could have one um, holy grail watch? I feel like a lot of people would say a Daytona, um, but I think one of the early vintages Rolex Explorers um, are beautiful. So yeah, one of those. thinks that Spencer Dreyer is a living legend in the watch world. Everybody thinks that Paul Thorpe is a li living legend in the watch world. But in my world, this is Greg, AKA Greggy Boy, chief contributor to That Watch Guy London. How are you doing, Greg? I'm very well. Are you all right? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Tell me, how have you found today's watch fair? Well, we've only been here about 15, 20 minutes, but it's good, yeah, enjoying it. Lots of nice watches to look at. Nice to see some familiar faces, you know, people that you don't get a chance to meet in real life, you know. What, what is it that first got you into watches? Do you know what I think it is? Like, I think with men, there's very few things you can do to accessorise yourself, you know? And um, my other hobby is fragrances, which we had a little chat about earlier. You've got, you know, fragrances, watches. We haven't got many other things. I think we sort of gravitate towards them. So that's how it all started, has been sort of, you know, something that can be interesting when you go shopping with a missus and she's off doing something else, go and look in the watch shop. And what's the latest watch you've bought? What's the last piece? Uh, this one, actually. Discontinued yellow gold GMT. Um, have never had a yellow gold, it's kind of a bit bling for an old geezer like me, but I thought... Uh, well, we've been talking about this a lot on the show, as you know, the yellow gold and for the men for the summer, and actually, I've got to say, it, it, it does look great. It's not too bad. This, these ones come with, um, like, a green dial as well, which is a bit more sort of garish, so I went for the black dial because I thought it suited me a little bit better. I remember commenting you because you had a blue, uh, blue dialed sub that you were trying on, and I said... It's like just a little bit too much with the gold and the blue, but the two-tone ones may be a bit more, you know, but it looks good on you to be fair, mate. Well, I tell you what, you can go upstairs and you could, I think it's here, so you can have a little try of that and, and see what it looks like on you. And, and Greg, I know um, you're going to be coming on to our show uh, just after the summer, I think we're going we're to line that up for. When things calm down a bit, I'll come down. I'm based in Essex and not a million miles away, so I'll come down, meet you all a bit, you know, in person. It'll be good fun, yeah, looking forward to it. It's been great having you here today, Greg, thank you. <laughs> So 
day has been going really well. It's been really busy and all the customers have been so lovely. The watches that people have been most interested in are probably, or as always, sports models, submariners, GMTs. But also we've had a lot of people interested in like Cartier's and Amigas today, which is great. Um, that they're not just here to come and see the Rolexes. And also we got a Patek Philippe Nautilus in and I think everyone's been really intrigued to see that, which is always a great watch to have in stock. If you haven't been able to come, please make sure you check our website for all our stock and also book an appointment to come and see us because we'll be great to see you. Bye. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed a little look at Friday. We're going to actually release Saturdays tomorrow because um, none of us has actually, have actually seen it. So I think it would be no. time for us to all it take it in first. It. Yeah. Uh, did you enjoy that, Janilda? Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Fantastic. Um, now, there was a really, really touching moment, which is very interesting. And, and, and you mentioned it in your video, Paul. And it's something that I didn't actually find out until I watched your video. And bear in mind, I was there and the team were filming. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it was just a moment. You know, the gentleman came over with his young lad and <clears throat> he said that his son, you know, they both wanted to meet me and say hello. Spencer came over and, you know, had a little joke with the, the boy about, you know, which channel did he like best. And, you know, the story. But the thing is, it was all, um, obviously, it was unplanned because we didn't catch it on film. It wasn't, a, a you know, a, a dramatic moment. Like, it wasn't meant to be. It was just planned. Spencer just did it on the spot. I'd love to have caught it on camera, but unfortunately we didn't. But it was a... Well, it you, was, you, Paul, honest. you say unfortunately we didn't, but uh, kudos to you, Spencer, because I would have thought at most other places, and bear in mind, we are part of a watch community and we do run a little channel, however small it is, and I would imagine at most of these other places, they'd be saying, get get the cameras over, mm. Spencer's about they to... Didn't. Well, no it one, wasn't planned. No one That's right. Knew. I mean, you did what, see what the boy playing? there with what, the watch. I, we did. So that was Alfie. Alfie actually replied and put a comment up on your channel, Paul, didn't he? I think we've got that on the he screen. Did. We can pop yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. A little thank you so from happy. Alfie. He was yeah. happy. Well, the thing is... You You're a lovely boy, viewers. Spencer. Well, it was, just, it was just in the moment. Paul and I always have our bit of banter about joking and messing about with each other. and didn't really think about it. And then just said to the boy, you know, what watches do you like? I had a few watches there. And we had a black face, blue and a white. And I said, what ones? What do you like? And he picked out the black and I said, there we go. Good choice. Yeah. Simple as Amazing. that. Amazing. And of course, on YouTube, everybody asks, did you give him a Daytona? <laughs> it wasn't a Daytona. <laughs> it wasn't it was a Daytona. A, but, but let me tell you, one happy young man. Actually, if you go back and watch the video, you'll see him. We managed to catch a glimpse after just showing where his watch to the camera, yeah. where he's showing it to the camera, yeah. where he's absolutely yeah. uh, chuffed to bits. Chuffed to bits. Gavin, can I just say, yeah. Spencer doesn't even give his wife a Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> no. To be, but he did buy us dinner on Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So, yeah, and yeah. he kept Thursday, us all yeah. fed yeah, on, uh, on Saturday, Friday, and Saturday. I've lost yeah. track of the days. It's <laughs> he, terrible, he isn't was, it? Yeah, so have I. He was a great host. I've got to say, and I want to compliment your team because Janilda, Kaylee, and all the gang. Honestly, mate, you, you, you must have worked very hard thank to pick you. up the people you've got there. You should be proud of them. Yeah, thank you, thank and you. And you know that he should be paying you more than what he is. Thank <laughs> you. I, me I too. second I that. Too. I think you should be Janilda partner. Um, uh, John H says, "Evening, everyone. Massive thank you to Spencer for inviting me back to his family's birthday party on Saturday oh. evening. <laughs> it was humbling and just goes to show the integrity of the man. Very best, John. So just just to qualify this, I was standing outside leaving uh, late." Uh, everybody's rushing around for the football and these two chaps are standing outside saying, yeah, we're, we're just going back to Spencer's. I said, that doesn't surprise me. You're going back for the evening. Yeah, we were going to go to the pub. Spencer's invited us all round to watch the football. And off they went. But what happened there, Gav? John said, first of all, he went for a test drive. He almost missed Paul. We had to rush down and say hello. He was panicking that the car was running out of petrol. There were seven miles left in the car and he got lost. So he's bought a car. He's almost missed Paul. And I said, well, what are you doing later? And he said, well, I'm, I'm at the pub. So I said, well, who are you with? And he goes, on my own. Well, You're not having that. Uh, you know, he just wasn't doing that. And there was Lawrence, another customer of mine. Yep. So they both came to my brother-in-law's. It was his 55th. We all watched the match. England won and 
I think I left John there at about 12 o'clock. I said, John, I'm going home now. And he stayed till about one o'clock in the morning. Fantastic. But and no, he's changed his name to Dryer. <laughs> <laughs> he's part of the family now. Paul, what, what's your biggest takeaway from, from the weekend? I've got mine. I'll share after. I think the biggest takeaway was just um, <clears throat> confirmation of what a wonderful community we seem to have built. Um, I had a hint of it at Brighton, but Brighton was now back in 2019. It was a wonderful event that a lot of people seem to remember very fondly. Uh, and Spencer said to me a few weeks back, you've actually gone a bit quiet since then. Well, of course, you know, from a personal viewpoint, as in like actually meeting people, not quiet as in on YouTube, I've always got a big mouth. But, you know, it, it just really confirmed what we already knew. But it was just, that was probably my biggest takeaway from it. My biggest takeaway is, uh, actually, I've got quite a few. First of all, I seriously met the loveliest people. Everybody who watches this show knows that I'm not the watch person. I'm here to help Spencer, help Janelle, just help everybody just try and put things together. But I'm not the watch person. But actually... I got so many common sense tips from from some of the guys. I, I mean, I think I sat talking to people for 45 minutes at a time and the loveliest people. And the other thing that struck me, apart from the nice the niceness of everybody, is I loved watching everybody try on the watches. To yeah. walk yeah. up to that front desk, see Janilda, mm. and to try on any watch you wanted. Didn't matter what the price was. Didn't matter that you were never going to buy it. It didn't matter. You just wanted to look at it and try every weight on Everybody yeah, enjoyed. I was going to say, the amount of people that told me, thank you so much for letting me try this people, watch. I was yeah. like, it's okay, don't worry. We yeah, are here to yeah. help you. One of the they were very happy. Fantastic. And for you, Spencer, what's your biggest takeaway? I think it's just putting watches and smile on people's faces and seeing things. Um, that's the thing. I mean, people have pointed out the average AD has 40 to 120 people pieces. We had over 500 pieces there. So for people to see the full range, whereas all they're normally told is we'll put you on the list, that'll be three years, that'll be five years. You know, there's Blue Sky Dwellers, Hulk, Starbucks, the full range of all the sports, um, as as well as all the Daytonas, yeah? I mean, we had a good... I wouldn't say we had everyone, but we had a very good selection of all the precious metal Daytonas. Right, now here's all the questions that all the viewers would like me to ask you, Spencer. Sure, okay? sure. Don't get a twitchy bottom. Go on. Go on. People have asked me um, through Instagram and also through YouTube. What was the biggest, the highest price selling watch? Well, I think a lot of people could see anyway because they browse our website. They see what was on there. There was actually a Patek Aquanaut on there. The green one. The green one. And you'll now see that it's not on there. Okay. Yeah. So that's that a, has gone. That's a big ticket item. Yeah. What was the most popular watch, do you think, it, when people were browsing the cabinets, you know, that people were really interested in? They they all wanted to try the green Daytona, I have to be honest. Mm. Literally everyone wanted to try the green Daytona. Mm. Wow. Paul, for you, when you look through the... Cause hats off to yeah. you, Paul. I mean, how you went to bed at three o'clock in the morning on the Friday night... <sighs> Get up, try and set your cameras up, try and do a little bit of filming and then spend the rest of the day literally talking to every single person, having photographs and then trying on the watches with them, talking to them like a personal shopper. Can I be honest? I've got a confession to make, right? And this is the honest truth. We ended up, where did we end up? We ended up back at the Red Lion on the Friday night, was it? And then I got up the following morning. I'd left my car at BMW. I got up at six. I'd had three hours sleep. I had a shower, got dressed, walked downstairs, and then I remembered that I didn't have my car. <laughs> so I had to get a cab. Excellent. <laughs> it's one of those so golden that, moments. That, that wasn't good. But I will say that um, I think that there was one watch that got away over the weekend. Um, it nearly sold on a couple of occasions, but I'm going to do a completely separate video on the watch that Spencer had in his cabinet. I know, I know um, the one he's on about. Well, let's not say, don't, that got, don't reveal, don't reveal. Yeah, there, there was a watch that got away that really should have been bought. Um, I'm sorry that it, someone didn't buy it because they're going to do very well with it. But I'll reveal that in another video. Okay. It, it came very close to being sold. Do you know, Paul, when you get um, wrapped up in the moment? Yeah. You know, when you, you ever had that mm. feeling when you get wrapped up in the moment? Do you remember about yeah. three and a half minutes ago I said, I'm not that watch person. You know, I don't know that much, quite like watches. Yeah. 
Guess who bought a watch? <laughs> Kevin. Did you really? You cannot believe. But every time I went through the cabinets, I kept going, oh, I kept saying on live on Instagram, oh, there's a really nice watch there. And if it doesn't sell, I might have a word with Spencer at the end. And sure enough, it didn't. And I bought it. And I'm going to, I'm well going to, I'm going to show you what you I bought. Are you going to tell us what it is? Well, it's, what did I, you buy I absolutely it? love it because obviously, you know, I haven't got deep pockets like you, but um, I bought myself this. Can you, oh, can you see that? Well, can't oh, you see can't it see it. Moment. Okay, no, I'll put no, it up this way. It, no. I'll put it up this way because there was a little camera, but um, uh, reconnect it, he says. I, 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 would... can on, I can only see like the picture of all three of you on there, guys. So it's oh, a long fine. way away. Okay, all right. So let me try that. James, have you got that? James, you're totally letting me down today. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Okay, all right. I bought a... Should, should we bring James on and whip him? Well, <laughs> honestly, uh, I bought a white face 2008 Milgauss with the orange hands. Lovely. You can't see it. I'll send you a nice picture on on, uh, yeah. on, on WhatsApp. Yeah. But I was watching it the whole weekend. So what have I caught? Been at that bloody watch show. Watch disease. Watch, di <laughs> watch bug. Literally caught watch the watch the bug. Uh, thank you very much, There's Spencer, no for not selling that. There is no cure. I'm in. I'm There's all no in. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. On. What, what are you guys wearing on your wrist today? We better do a wrist roll. Spencer, what have you got on? I've got the 5712 Patek. Oh, that's very, very yeah. nice. The fifty-seven twelve Patek worth about one pound. Um, do you know what, what are you wearing? I got bimetal day just the smaller size. I wanted to go smaller today. A bimetal day very just classic. smaller size. Very classic. Lovely. Guys, if you do have any questions, keep piling them on. I am going to come to them in just a second. Oh, actually, I see there's quite a lot. Um, we're going to go to this week's questions from Instagram, okay? Um, which actually came in this morning. So let's pop these up on the screen. Uh, Paul, you can answer some of these as well. Uh, let's go for question number one. Uh, from Pete Smith, 1176. Paul, you can answer this. When is the next watch fair? Mm. Oh, well, I think that's... Uh, me and Spencer, there's a lot of talking to do. Um, I have promised everyone that I'm going to do my best um, in the next, you know, coming months. Obviously, we've got the London Watch Show. That's, that's you know, probably the next one that uh, people are going to see me at. But Spencer and I are going to get chatting. Um, Spencer actually might be the better one to ask, but I'm available... I'm willing and pretty much up for anything within reason. All right. Spencer, you can answer that one sure. then. Well, we've got um, London Watch Show the 18th and 19th of September. Then we are going to look at doing something shortly after that. In possibly October. in October. Possibly October. October. Get, you've got enough time to well, recover. We'll put that it point. out there. We'll let everyone know. Okay. Uh, question number two, which isn't actually a question. It's a statement. And it's from our good friend, Jacob Kendall. A lot of respect for Spencer. Countless stories about how generous you are. Let's blow some more smoke up his backside. <laughs> Question number well, I'll three. Tell you what, Gavin, sorry, can I just interrupt yeah, there? Go ahead. We're about to find out how generous Spencer is because he hasn't seen it yet, but I've emailed him. I fell in love with what's on Saturday. Didn't have a chance to speak to him about it. Oh, oh, I'd like to add it to my collection. Here we go. So I've sent him an email. I've sent him an email. And we'll, uh, and next week, I'll tell you how generous he is. Go on, carry okay. Horrorologic007 says, this is a bone of contention, Paul. Who won the arm wrestle? Ah. Now. Well, Spencer, Spencer, apparently you injured his shoulder, he told me. Okay. So we have a different story to that. We know <laughs> that you decided to take off half an hour early because you needed to escape the traffic. Spencer's calling that. Forfeit. A forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying that's a forfeit and of course the the penalty was the price that's gonna look great on him Gav. was the mankini <laughs> okay so paul do, do you know something i'd rather do three rounds with mike tyson <laughs> than put that on. well to be fair if you did it with this on you probably have half yeah. a chance but this my yeah, friend is coming to you tomorrow with greggy boy's <laughs> aftershave and by the way i believe the forfeit was you have to present your next show in this so Let's, yeah. I'm going to throw that at you. There you go. <laughs> Good Lovely. luck with that one. Um, yeah, so in all honesty, um, we had it all planned out. And, and the day kind of just took over itself. And by the time we did the first prize draw, we never did the second prize draw, which we're going to do live tonight. And um, things just ran away. So we'll park the arm wrestle for another day. Um, did you find the winner, the Tudor? Was yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to come to that a bit later, but we absolutely did, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, uh, 007 also said, did anyone buy a car? Yes, they John, did. H John H, who was with me, um, we also had another gentleman looked at a couple of minis. Yeah, and we're waiting to hear back from Rob Graham. But yeah. certainly, they they did have a they, few. They did. They yeah. did sell some cars. Um, 
well, he's on a roll here. He's asked question number three. Did you sell more watches than you bought or the other way around? No, we sold more than we bought. You definitely yeah. sold more than yeah. you bought, didn't you? Yeah. I know everyone's yeah. going to pipe up in the questions going, numbers, numbers, mm-hmm. numbers, numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, I obviously didn't take much attention. I'm obviously still on floating. He's asked another question. Is football coming home, Janilda? Is football coming home? Yeah. But Janilda's Italian. Uh, no, so I know. Janilda, is football coming I home? I think Italy's winning, by the way. What? Italy's going to win. James, remove her <laughs> off the show. Uh, by the way, next Monday's show... If you uh, if Italy win, you need to come in an Italy kit, 100%. and obviously Spencer, you need to come Spencer in. Spencer um, is yeah. me against you. You need to come in in, the, in that green mankini. Um, watch Tim. Uh, any plans of hosting another event this year or next? I think we this year, this year, this year. 100%. Paul, you up for that? Hundred percent. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Rolex only twenty twenty one. Janilda, you can answer this one. <laughs> what does BQ stand for? <laughs> Best quality. Spencer, that's the worst name in the world. <laughs> okay. Well, BMW have copied us. Remember that it's BMW with BQW. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What would you have called his business, Paul? Can you think of a better name than BQ watches? Uh, probably sort of like home base watches or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it does come. Um, it does come pretty close. Let's go through some of the questions that are coming up because honestly, I'm I'm still frazzled and all over the place. Um, Paul Oakley, thanks to Spencer and the team for taking the time to talk myself and also my family. Also, Paul T, thanks for the chat, P.O. Cardiff. A lot of people came from Cardiff. Did yep. we notice that? Yep. A lot of people from Cardiff, a lot of people from yeah. South Wales. We had someone, um, Paul, you spoke to the guy from Singapore, but someone flew in from Singapore to, to Wales and then came yes. across from Wales if to Bournemouth. You, when you eventually get to see Saturday's video, he's interviewed. He's yeah. a very, very interesting chap. Um, Jacob, hello, Jacob. Uh, great to have you with us. Uh, great coverage of the events. Lots of respect for Spencer from everything I saw and heard. Kelvin O, top man Greg. We do think Greg's a top man. Uh, Ian Nixon, I used to have two German shepherd dogs called them Timex and Rolex. Mm-hmm. They were watchdogs. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> very, very good. Um, I'm loving my Tudor Black Bay GMT. Guys, if you did buy uh, anything from Spencer this weekend that you don't want to send back, um, <laughs> if you did buy anything, you know, do pop up. Let us know. Send us a, a shot on Instagram of you wearing your watches. We, we love to see all that. Um, big shout out. We had... Um, we have Mark Bourne in also from the Rolex group with uh, with a gang of his uh, his guys trying on some yep. watches. I know they've been posting as well. So big shout out to the guys on on the Rolex group. Um, Greggy Boy seventy six says, "Got to say, we didn't mean a single person that w- didn't meet a single person that wasn't top draw. Been a t- been a, to a ton of events and never t- known such a great bunch of people under one roof." Wow, okay. Gavin Gavin, did you get the Milgaus? He did. <laughs> Suckered into that. I literally, I'm so happy. I got a smile from ear to ear. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, Jacob was really humbled by Paul's video. Wish I could have been there to meet the whole gang. Some real class act. By the way, Paul, do you know we've been invited to Jacob's wedding? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Well, I think we should obviously extend that to you because Jacob's paying to fly us all out to uh, Texas, isn't it? Houston. Yeah. Is it Texas? Houston. Te- for his wedding. Yeah. You, you coming? You're kidding. No, yeah, no, seriously. And then we're going on honeymoon because he's coming to Venice for honeymoon. <laughs> what do you think of that? I Someone... think you're pulling my leg. <laughs> um, did, the BM drub... did, did the BMW draw happen? Well, actually, no, it didn't. That is one that's happening this evening. But we are going to be doing that very same thing this evening. First of all, let's discuss the, um, the giveaway. Spencer, you were giving away a gorgeous watch. Tell everybody about the watch while I grab it. So we gave away the Tudor, which was won by, um, what was that? Dennis, Dennis Poon. Dennis Poon, I who think has won a, that. We've got a picture, we've got a picture, of, picture of him But you're absolutely right. We didn't get, we were so busy, and then Paul was dashing off for the football, that we've still got some giveaways to do, but we can do them live tonight. So Dennis Poon um, was picked out of a draw. It's actually, um, we had a list of people and just a random stranger um, who I believe worked for Facebook was was sitting in the audience and we asked her to come up. She picked number 31 from our list and that is the watch that Dennis has, um, has won. And that is going off to him in the morning. Dennis, we wish you uh, lots of luck with this. We hope you really, really enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. Enjoy wearing it on your wrist. Um, Whereabouts is in the world? Where Nottingham. Is Dennis? Dennis is in Nottingham. Nottingham. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which uh, which is... Well done, Dennis. Yeah, well fantastic. <laughs> the next thing we have, Spencer, is obviously we have a couple of prizes to give away, don't we? Sure. Do you want to tell us what the prizes are? Yeah. I've got a list if you want me to. Yep. yep. You have a little look. 
So these are the giveaways that we're going to do. Um, where are we? Where are we? There we go. So starting off in order, we're going to give, be giving away a Rolex hat, a North Face jacket, and a North Face bag that was given by one of our customers, Darren. Thank you for that. We're also going to, going to be giving a £250 voucher from BQ Watches to take off the price of a watch and a £500 BQ voucher. And also the last one is the car for the weekend. So it's a BMW 4 Series convertible that Baron's BMW are donating that the customer will collect on a Friday and return on a Monday. Now, how we did this is that everybody who came along to the watch fair, and there were around about six or 700, they all had these passes on with their names on. So there's Joel, Nathan, there's uh, someone who says guest, but obviously they wrote their name and their number on the back. On the back. And so everybody who left were, had a chance to enter into this free draw for all of those prizes. So, Janilda, yeah, I think I'll it's only winner. fitting, because Paul can't reach into the box, <laughs> that you pick out, and the, first, the, the in last place first prize is sure. the hat, right? So this is the Rolex hat, okay, Janilda. So for pass, the Rolex... pass me the hat, I'll, I'll just model it for you. Yeah. There you go. This is the Rolex hat. I'll hold it to my camera. It's lovely. Everybody wants a bit of... So the Rolex hat goes to Brian Martin, and we've got his telephone number and his address. Okay, on the back. So, so that's perfect. Brian Martin. There is one Rolex hat on its way to you, sir. Congratulations! I'll Over pop the there. ticket in there, and we know who that's for. Okay. What's next? Number two is the North Face jacket. Okay, right. the North Face so this was jacket. donated by a customer, here. Darren. Okay. Do you want to see it, Gav? Um, it probably won't fit me, to be fair. <laughs> That's Justin Cooper. Justin Cooper wins the North Face jacket. So we're going to send it to Justin. Dennis Poon has just joined us and said, thank you very much for the gorgeous watch, Spencer. Absolutely enjoyed Friday. Wow. Great. So that's the uh, jacket. Next up, Spencer, we have. So next up is the North Face bag. Okay. Right, and the winner is. Uh... Drum roll, please. Aaron Rowley. His guest, though. Not Aaron himself, but one of his guests. And oh, we've got his Aaron Rowley, and we've got his back. telephone number. So Aaron's guest, um, his friend, won. has won the next one. So that's the North that, Face that's bag. The North Face jacket. We're getting yeah. close now, aren't we? So now we're moving on to the BQW voucher for okay. two hundred for two hundred and fifty pounds, pounds off of a watch. Two Correct. Fifty off for. Or if you're lucky, Spencer will bid you Ta fifty pounds for it. Tawad <laughs> Narabutava. That's easy for you to say. Very easy. <laughs> Easier than John. Okay. <laughs> Tawa Narutu Marin. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, he wins the £250 voucher. And? The £500 voucher goes to? Mm -hmm. Let me move things around a little bit. Goes to Stephen Floyd. Stephen Floyd wins a £500 that's, voucher. That's a good one. Uh, Stephen Floyd, yep. Five hundred off. As as so now the, the final one is okay. So this is for the BMW. BMW yep. for the weekend. Just tell everybody again. So basically, oh, uh, nice. Barons are giving the BMW for the weekend, collect it on a Friday, and return it on a Monday. BM so the lucky. Uh, four series convertible. Wow. So I bless up. You don't have a usual sunny uh, <laughs> summer day when it's been pouring down with rain. The lucky winner is James Hurst. James, James Hurst. Hurst. Yeah. There you go. James Hurst. We know him, don't we? We know him? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations, James. Wow. You have Great. a BMW to burn the rubber off tires for a whole two days. Weekend. Three days. A nice weekend. Fantastic. Paul, what are you doing to recover now? How do you how do you what do you do off the back of this weekend? Um, make more videos, to be fair. It's um like I said, it kind of inspired me, but it's been quite a bit happening. Um, you know, YouTube's been playing some funny games. Yeah, let, let, let's cover that now. Let's cover that now. Yeah. Ca yeah. Can I ask you this question? Because obviously we went, you very kindly called us this morning and we went through our channel and we've changed some titles. We've changed the thumbnails yeah. and we've replaced that word with the word replica. Well, okay. I mean, look, I hope that, that that is okay. But I mean, I think what the situation is, something political has been going on um, YouTube have received some complaints from someone who that is, we can only imagine. Um, and they've been removing videos left, right and centre. Paul, you know, why do you think, YouTubers. why would why would someone complain about that word? 
What? Why? What for? What for? What benefit? And why? Unless unless they're selling wow. counterfeit goods, what difference? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, all the videos that I know about that have been removed are warning people yeah. how not to fall for that. Sure. So they're public service, public information videos that yeah. are being removed. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, Gavin. I mean, I've got some thoughts, but I want to see how it pans out. Um, Jody, uh, um, just one more watch. His channel was removed. I mean, the guy is an completely immense removed. YouTuber, and they completely removed his channel. Thankfully, it has been reinstated this evening. Um, but I think the problem is, is that you've probably got people at YouTube who, with all due respect, don't really know the industry or what they're perhaps getting involved in, just deleting videos left, right and centre without actually knowing why they're deleting them. Um, but it's concerning, obviously. I mean, I've spent the entire day backing up virtually every single video that I've ever made right. because if that lot was to go... They, they've gone forever. So I've, I've been busy all day downloading my videos uh, to keep them on a separate hard drive just in case anything went badly wrong. Right, yeah. okay. So it's something to be slightly concerned mm. about. Um, mm. th that's very nice of you, Jacob. Jacob said, careful not to drop the watch. Obviously, <laughs> I have a reputation, Paul. Well, the first time we showed that um, that beautiful, gorgeous watch, I tipped the box up, the watch went down. Dennis has got a dent in his watch. Uh, <laughs> apologies for that dent. There's no dent, actually. The stickers are still on there. But yeah, thanks for pointing that out. It seems to be uh, every week someone pops up with that smarty <laughs> comment. That's great. Um, Spencer. Where'd you go from here after that weekend? Um, well, we can start planning the next one. Well, no rest for the wicked then. No, we've got to get on with it. It's only July. This took... I mean, How Paul, we spoke... Inspire you? How much did that inspire you at the weekend? Well, we always knew it would be good, but it surpassed all my expectations, mm. to be honest with you. It really did. But all of you, I mean, Paul, thank you for your comments, but Janilda, Kaylee, David... All the team. Simon, all, all the, the team. team, everyone oh, in you the need, office. You need to keep going. Darren. Uh, Darren, Justin, <laughs> Stephanie. Steph, everyone. Sarah. That was extremely yeah. important. Yeah. I think everybody did an unbelievable job. Yeah. Um, we got a, uh, again, the team's Colette endless. As Colette well. as she well. Was a surprising um, good Emma. Daily Hannah, woman. who joined us yeah. as well. The very nice Andrew Kaplan, who I spent a lot of time with chatting away. I tried one on and ended up buying it. No regrets at all. Love it. All of Spencer's staff were lovely. Great job. Oh, I'm glad you got your meal, Gauss, Gavin. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is and he's a Brighton boy. boy. He is he's a Brighton, Brighton boy. boy. Yeah. yeah. I've got a little AP story for you guys go on, before go. we go. Um, there was a gentleman that was I was talking to. What I did most of the day, really, I think, was to try and advise people, you know, they were saying, I think the most common question for me was, Paul, come and show me a watch that you think would be good for me. You know, I've got three or four in mind. Which one would you choose, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I know Spencer doesn't mind. There was a couple of people, you know, maybe I kind of added them to the, you know, safety because I didn't want them to impulse buy it. But one gentleman was looking at a Rolex and I said, have you ever had the AP experience? And he said, no. And I said, do you fancy an AP? And he went, I'm not really so sure that I do. You know, I'm, I'm not, never really considered one. I said, well, look, try one on, but I warn you now, if you try one on, be prepared <laughs> to fall in love and yeah. it's going to become an expensive relationship. And he went <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. And he grinned and he tried on that stunning AP diver that you had, Spencer. Oh, beautiful. He put it on his wrist. I did the strap out for him. He looked at it and he went, I'm taking that home. <laughs> wow. so that is it. And I said, are you serious? He said, it is beautiful. And honestly, it looks so good on him. You would not believe it. He's, you know, his skin colour just matched. The, the whole thing just glowed on his wrist. Um, and when he sort of took it, I thought, you know what? I would love to have bought that. Myself. <laughs> it was such would a you? lovely watch. Um, but like I said, I've got my eye on something that you've got anyway. So. Okay. I'll open your we'll email later or tomorrow morning. I fancy yeah, there's, a, the phone. there's a big negotiation going a, here. I'll probably get a WhatsApp in the morning and say no chance. <laughs> None. <laughs> well, in fact, the last time you were coming in for a watch, we were having a pizza, and whilst we're sitting there, he sold it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I a know. nice, right. nice friend that. for you, yeah. isn't it? That's right. That yeah, was to yeah, Paul Newman, yeah. wasn't it, on yeah. the Oyster Flex? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, um, Paul, actually, uh, on a personal note, spending time with you has been fantastic. You are not just a man in front of a camera. 
I really, really do enjoy spending time with you. Your knowledge, your you. your stories, everything. You know, you really are a, a true gentleman. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot to learn from Paul. There is. I am learning so much from you, and uh, so greatly appreciated uh, by me for sure. And uh, I love working with you. I yeah, couldn't agree more. Thank and you. again, joking apart. No, <laughs> but we, we all have a joke and we dig each other a bit. But Paul, you really are. I mean. Just working with you and you as a person and sitting there and me and you spent half an hour, 45 minutes the other night talking about motorbikes. And, you know, it's just you're someone you can talk to and it's not just about watches or work. You know, it's just nice having a chat with real genuine people. people. That's, that's and that's real people. One people. other thing, viewers, look, 99.9% .9 of people are very happy and I'm sure people see comments and they comment on what we do. Now, a few people feel that myself or Janilda or Gavin didn't give someone the time that we should have done. All I can do is apologise. And I'm a regular person who is just running a business that during evenings and weekends and out of hours organises watch shows, YouTube videos, um, this exhibition that we've done. And, you know, as, as the saying goes, you can't please all of yeah, the people there's a lot going all of on the time. And we tried to speak with everyone, but obviously we had to do other stuff. Get the watches ready, get the boxes, booklet. Sure, there's sure. a lot of work yeah. behind the scenes. Do you know what scenes. I find difficult? Do you know what I found difficult? It's like I didn't want anyone that wanted to speak to myself not to get that chance. Yeah. But at the same time, I didn't want to look around like uh, and offering myself up as saying, oh, who wants to come and speak to me? Yeah. So it was like, you know, it was that's not me as a person. So if anyone did want to say hello or to any of us, if you're there at London, come and tap us on the shoulder and make up for it there because we are all very, very approachable people. Absolutely. 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 And, and we're, also, we're not TV stars. We're not we're trained exactly. actors. <laughs> and, we're just and regular we're, people. And we're not looking to be. No, absolutely. The, the, the reason why we do this channel and why I help you and why Janita helps... It's because simply we enjoy it, and it's just a bit yeah. of fun for, for, yeah. for your customers, and and that's that's I know it's certainly your motivation, sure. my motivation, absolutely. Is uh, we're not reality TV. No, I know no. we've had lots of comments from people saying you should be well. Fun enough, topical. You should be more like the timepiece gentleman. You should be showing mm. deal. And look it's, what that's it, happened in the well, last week. It's yeah, ju it's just not. It's not us. It's not us. And Paul, the other thing, you know, with people you speak. You're a genuine person. You don't play up for the camera and you're not different in real life. We're the same people. Paul, how about this for a compliment? You, you're sitting down. You might want to sit back for this one. <laughs> it, it, Greggy Boy says, my mate who has never seen Paul's videos and had no idea who he was said to me, I could listen to that guy speak all day. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. that's a nice one. <laughs> There you go. You'll be doing you'll you be doing voiceovers for Disney next. <laughs> you'll be doing voiceovers for Disney next. Um, oh, I've had a bad uh, but overall, it was lovely to meet everyone. Yeah, Jacob obviously is everybody's number one fan. In the year I've subscribed to Paul, I've learned so much about watches and horology. He seems like the guy you could learn an immense amount of information from. Such a great guy. Uh, Michael Campbell says, Spencer, no need to apologise. You did a great job connecting with as many people as you could. Um, Paul Oakley, where is the London Watch Show being held, please? Um, Grosvenor House, Central London. Grosvenor House Hotel. We, you're going to have a big, strong presence, for you, Spencer, aren't you? You're going to have all the, you know, a lot sure, of it's in absolutely. there. All right. It's the Saturday and, and Sunday, 18th, yeah. 18th and 19th of September. And I've just seen the comment of yeah. all comments, Paul. Sorry, Janilda. Yes. Do you know what Love Island is? I know. Uh, yeah. Well, who do you think they'd like to see on Love Island? Oh, me. No, Spencer. <laughs> oh, Spencer. <laughs> Harvey M. Like to see Spencer Please. on Love Island. Wouldn't Let's last two minutes. Let's do it. Spencer oh, on Love think, Island. Yeah. Can I you imagine with so. your top off? <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, it comes Gosh. to that moment of the show that I really, really enjoy. Paul, sit back, prepare to wet yourself. Janil, we're going to let Spencer do it this week. Spencer, would you like to say goodnight to everybody? Sure, of course I would. Thank you, watch lovers. <laughs> And now, no Spencer. And now what? No, and now what, Spencer? <laughs> Come on. What? What's and the catchphrase? Uh, if you haven't dealt with us yet, it's only a matter of time. Good night, Good night all. Thanks, Good night, guys. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. bye, -bye.